Well guys, it is a beautiful, beautiful sunny morning here at my buddy Boots place. <laughs> Casa Betania is uh, my buddy Boots place right behind me. We found out that Saint Betania was the saint of taking in uh, travelers, whether they were a little shady or not, Betany would take them in. And there's a, a little plaque on the front of the house that says Betany. So came down here and I'm gonna do some surf casting this morning and see what we can get into. The sun is just coming up behind me. You can probably see over there um, on top of those palm trees and houses. Right down the beach from my buddy Boots place, right here in this, this little hump seems to be the spot. I keep seeing fish rise and bait balls break over here. So we're gonna post up and huck some lures and see if we can't get into a couple this morning. I think it's gonna be a fun, beautiful little adventure. Uh, stay tuned, you're watching the bite. Oh, you guys, we're on. There we go, we're on. Look at that, we're on, guys. Third cast of the day. Woo! Whatever it is, it doesn't feel that big. that guys beautiful little rooster fish on our third cast into the water what an awesome looking beautiful little fish right I'm gonna wash the sand off of him real quick oh well there he goes see him take it off bye bud well you know you guys I was gonna consider keeping that small rooster fish and eating it because I want to do a rooster fish catch and cook. But um, he uh, swam back down into the surf as I was watching him off. It's kind of hard to hold it by his tail there. If we get another little rooster, maybe we'll keep a rooster and do a catch and cook. I'm hearing that rooster fish uh, meat is like super good and delicious and it makes like a really nice steak. But um, they're such a popular game fish, people don't usually keep them and eat them. So we'll see if we get lucky and we get into another one. Maybe we'll keep that one. But that was a cool way to just get the line tight first thing in the morning. What a beautiful little rooster. And um, he's back and free swimming in the ocean. So uh, let's get down and throw some lines a little bit more. But super cool. Third cast. Caught a rooster fish out of the surf this morning. Um, the rest of my day is going to be good. So, yee! -hoo! How cool is that, you guys? Beautiful little rooster fish. Second fish of the day on like my 10th cast or something like that into the surf. It smacked this little pink casting steel and it had the back hook in its mouth. 
but then from rushing around in the surf so much, the other hook kind of stuck it in the side there. But I definitely hooked up into the corner of its mouth right there in the very back hook. This rooster fish is actually perfect size for us to do a rooster fish catch and cook. Because uh, I don't want to take a big fish that's going to turn into a big sports fish around here and be a ton of rooster fish meat. And this right here is perfect for like three people. It's me, my friend Bood, and our friend Mimsy came down. And um, we're going to go ahead and take this fish and harvest it and go find out what rooster fish seems like tonight, share what the flesh looks like to you guys, and we'll find out how good or uh, how not great rooster fish is as an eating fish. So we're going to go ahead and put this one down real quick, but um, why he's still got all of his color and his life to him and that top fin, let's just really appreciate how beautiful a fish this is. So thank you very much for uh, sharing your life with us, for us to have a catch and cook and for sharing your flesh with us so that we get some substance out of it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go put this fish down and uh, then we'll clean it up and we'll make some lunch or some dinner a little bit later. I'll share that with you guys too, but super cool early morning, double up on rooster fish. Stuck that other little one on my third cast directly in front of my friend's house. I'm looking at my friend's house. It's right there. Just walked down to the surf and made some casts. Um, pretty elated. What a, what a cool, awesome, beautiful fish this wild wild fin it has that's why they call it a rooster fish it's pretty badass I'm actually kind of stoked that I caught this little fish because if I caught a big old giant rooster fish we don't need to keep that it's just so much meat and such a beautiful fish to uh, harvest such a large one but something like this is gonna have perfect fillets for us to do a little rooster catch and cook and just find out what the flesh and these are really like the locals love them and they say that it's like one of the target species to try to eat. So there's a massive abundance of fish up and down the stretch. The Jack Cravel are uh, busting on bait balls every morning and you see big schools of rooster fish moving around and stuff. And so um, I've always kind of wondered uh, what rooster fish is like as far as eating goes. So we'll find out how good they are right now. I'm gonna give it a little filet real quick. My first thought when cutting into this filet is that it looks like food fish. It's got a white colored meat instead of a bright red bloody meat like you see on Jack. You, you could think that a rooster fish and a Jack Crevel are very similar fish because they actually have pretty similar body structures and they swim in similar water. But I kind of think a rooster fish is a little bit more similar to a pompano or a permit or something like that and it's actual flesh structure. And this fish has uh, like a pink white meat rather than a dark red bloody meat that the Jack Crevels have. See what I mean, guys? When you look at the flesh of this fish, how gorgeous it looks. A little bit translucent, a little bit of darkness to it, but it's mostly a fairly white, rosy color rather than that dark red bloody meat that you see of a Jack Crevel. I imagine this is actually gonna be a really, really good eating fish. How gorgeous of a filet is that? Cool cool fish body too. We're gonna go ahead and take this body and we're gonna bury it underneath one of these little palm trees and um, give the palm tree the life that's left in the fish and kind of uh, um, fertilize it like that. So we're gonna save this body and we're gonna fillet these fillets up the rest of the way and see what they look like. Decent sized bloodline. They are a, a pretty fast moving, high, um, high energy fish. The faster moving, more high energy the fish is, the larger that bloodline is going to be because it's what keeps the blood flowing throughout the whole body of the fish. We'll end up just going right down that line, lightly carving out most of that to really quite gorgeous fillets that I'm sure are going to be absolutely delicious when we get them in the pan or on the grill. So we'll check back in with you guys later with these fillets when we throw them in the pan and see how they taste. We'll probably do something real simple, just a little butter and lemon or a little garlic and butter and lemon or something like that to really show off um, how delicious this rooster fish is gonna be. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy to them. Throw a little bit of salt down, uh, maybe a little bit of olive oil across them just to kind of give them a little bit of a glaze. And then we're gonna stick them in some little clamp shut grills and throw them right on the fire. So just fish filet over the fire, couple slices of onion in there, squeeze some lime on it. I think it's gonna be delicious, and I'm gonna prep the fish up real quick. All right. Here is our rooster fish fillets, and then here's this little grouper that we got. 
Not a huge grouper, but not a bad little grouper. He's got his old fillets there. Just gonna hit him with a little bit of Himalayan sea salt, a little bit of ground black pepper, and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna throw it straight onto the fire at sunset, because I think cooking fish over a fire at sunset uh, probably adds flavor to it. Check it out, you guys. We got all of our fish right here. We got our pit fire going right there. And we got the sun literally just going down right now. Maybe we'll get a green flash. Beautiful. Just a couple of seconds now. And Oof. We're gonna go ahead and clean this grill off with this onion slice. See all that brown nast on that onion? We don't want that on our food. So then we'll take the nasty onion and we'll set it aside. We'll set these two nice onions up in here and we're gonna lay our grouper right down the center. And then we're gonna lay our rooster fish fillet. And our next rooster fish fillet right in next to him. And then we got our little grouper fillets right here. We'll pack one in right there. Pack the other one right in here above his head. And then let's just add a bunch of peppers and asparagus, cause why not? It'll also give it some amazing color. Boot squeezing a little bit of lime juice on there right now. Oh yeah, that's just gorgeous, right guys? How beautiful is that? Let's close it up. go guys send it in there wow what a beautiful beautiful platter our rooster fish fillets our little grouper some asparagus some bell peppers some onions I'm just gonna really lightly drizzle a little bit of olive oil onto the fish to help keep it moist just a little bit of fat in there Super stoked to do a little rooster fish catch and cook. It's super fun to catch those in the surf, just right out here directly in front of my friend Boots' house. Rooster fish aren't really a super targeted eating fish. Down here in Mexico, the locals eat pretty much anything that they can eat. Um, and rooster fish and jack are definitely on the menu. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this turns out, just fresh off the fire with some veggies, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil and some lime juice. It doesn't really get any better than that. And um, right for this beautiful, Beautiful sunset hanging out in my buddy Boots yard. <laughs> After a great adventure out on the water, playing around, uh, we've been adventuring pretty much every day out here. Um, coming back to the spot and having a nice little base to hang out at, throw a fire into some rocks and cook a little fish on the grill. It doesn't really get a whole lot better than that in life. First sight of it went right down over the coals and definitely got a good little char on the top, but um, it's definitely not burnt or nothing yet. It just has a good little good little crispy char. Some of the tops of those asparagus got a little bit more crisp on them than we like, but the fish and the peppers and the onions all seem to be pretty perfect. And now that it's raised up a little, um, I think it's gonna just keep on cooking along. Might drizzle a little bit of water on that log just because it's putting out so much fire. We're gonna go ahead and carry this inside and check it out there, but I think it's done. That fish is looking crispy, veggies looking good. I'll tell you what, this uh, little feast right here looks absolutely delicious. And the rooster fish, grouper, and the veggies are all gonna go together so nicely. Whoever said that tuna was the chicken of the sea probably didn't know about rooster fish, because isn't that the chicken of the sea? Squirt a little lime juice across the fish. And that right there is a feast. 
Yeah, bud. Rooster fish, grouper, asparagus, onion, and roasted bell pepper. Mm. Beautiful little piece of this rooster fish. Oh, that's good. That's just an excellent flaky white, white meat fish. I don't know if the bigger rooster fish have a bloodier flesh. I've kind of heard the bigger ones aren't as good as the little ones. It's like with any kind of uh, meat, but well, this is a younger uh, rooster fish, and so its meat's maybe a little bit better than um, a large one. But uh, if I get a big one that's not a giant one, I'm probably eating it too, because this is delicious. We're gonna be doing more catching cooks on the channel coming up. We're gonna start doing a lot more food stuff in general. If there's something that you'd like to see us cook, some kind of fish you'd like to see us catch and then cook it, something weird that people don't usually eat, but that you can eat still, um, let us know in the comments and we'll try to whip up some of that stuff. Maybe I'll travel to whatever weird corner of the world I have to to find that fish and uh, cook it up and give it a wing, so. Rooster fish and grouper, A plus in my book. What do you think, Boone? Good stuff.